Hello, this is Brian and Henry with Extreme Networks. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the capabilities of our extreme management software. And uh, I'm just going to provide a quick overview. Uh, what we're looking at right now is a dashboard that provides some insight into the performance of the environment. This might be the first thing you look at when you come in in the morning, just to kind of get an overall idea of the health of the network. Uh, some great information here, and these are highly customizable. We can even do uh, some overview dashboards of the health, recent alarms, APs up and down, that sort of thing. I'm going to collapse this nav on the left-hand side, give us a little more real estate on the screen, and go over here to the Devices tab. As you can see here, we're managing not only our products, but some third-party devices as well. Uh, Cisco Switch, Wireless Controller, uh, Aruba products. Um, if I go over here and look at this hierarchical structure uh, tree view you see on the left-hand side, uh, these represent sites, locations where we define what's within those locations, seed addresses, and SNMP profiles to say we're going to query everything within that environment and automatically adopt those devices when we discover them. And part of that is, you know, it'd be really nice if we could also build in some configuration capability in that process, right? When we adopt that switch, we want to configure traps and syslog. We want to configure all our VLANs and our port templates. Uh, we want to go ahead and configure NTP, DNS, uh, so that we don't have to pull out a console cable whenever we uh, bring a new switch online, right? Uh, save us a lot of configuration errors as well, uh, that we are kind of rubber stamping everything as we deploy it out. and makes it a lot simpler. Um, if I drill down into these devices and pull up um, uh, maps, we can overlay floor plans and do some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, but this is a live diagram, right? Think of a Visio style network diagram where we're capturing uh, live information, uh, devices up and down, uh, port information, um, and building this automatically for you. Uh, we can even see where particular VLANs live within the network and see them drawn out for us um, and deploy those on the fly. So saving a lot of uh, time when building this out and implementing. Uh, we can also map uh, third-party devices you know, via LLDP and, and industry standard protocols to uh, discover these devices and map them out uh, for Cisco, HP, and, and the like. So uh, pretty pretty powerful solution. Uh, we can drill down into these particular devices uh, by just looking at a device view and look at port level information, not only for our products, but for third-party products as well, right? And get a lot of rich information about those. Uh, to that point, we can uh, do firmware updates and um, also provide uh, the ability to drag and drop our firmware files, push those out on the fly to our products, third-party devices as well, and, uh, and config archiving so we can actually get daily backups of configs, uh, get alerted if there's a difference in the config from one day to the other, and restore older versions of configs, which is nice. Uh, full alarming suite, right? So we can get an alarm details, look at alarm configuration and see we have a lot of prepackaged alarms in here. They're really nice being able to report on devices that are down um, and have more of a proactive nature to our infrastructure. But uh, it'd be really nice if we could create custom alarms uh, to our own criteria, uh, such as uh, maybe we have a third party product like a battery backup or something like that, or, or just a very specific criteria we want to match on and send an email alert or a text message or you know whatever uh, trap to, uh, to a server. We can also do syslog um, uh, event backup, and uh, let's get into some of the, the really cool stuff, the secret sauce of Extreme, if you will, uh, which is our control capability. We're a very security-focused company and, and provide a way to uh, define what users can and can't do on the network and do it all in a, a single place, right? Uh, so no longer are we having to go into access list, CLI, one at a time, and define what these users can and can't do on the network. Uh, we, we have a way to build out these rules of what users can and can't do uh, what what devices belong in what VLANs by um, manufacturer type, username, whatever criteria you want to define, and push this out to every switch and every access point on the network all in one place, right, all at one time. And what this provides is a seamless end user experience so that uh, when the user attaches to the network, whether it's wired or wireless, they have the same security pro policies on the network and uh, and don't have a different level of experience and engagement in the environment, uh, depending on what medium they attach to, right? So what does this provide us? Uh, I like to call it the Google search of the network, right? 
Uh, so if I search for a user, it could be by MAC address, username, um, IP address, doesn't really matter. But uh, let's say Larry's calling, he has a problem, right? We wanna search for Larry's device. We found three devices based off the keyword Larry. Uh, there's a PC, an iPad, whatever the case might be. It could be wired, wireless. We're gonna see where it's attaching how it's attaching to the network, um, you know, get some great information about application details, such as, you know, what applications is he using and, and is Larry having a poor performance related to a particular application. Get a true fingerprint to the device, uh, understand, um, you know, a lot of rich detail about his particular device. Uh, you know, what, what policy was applied? Okay, he got the enterprise user role. He authenticated with 8.2.1x. Um, he connected a particular access point. He's got a uh, an iPad, right? So we can get a lot of great information looking in system event history. So see where Larry's iPad has been over time to help us troubleshoot. Uh, we can do all the great map stuff to show you where Larry is. He's over on the side of the building right now um, and, and, um, and, and do all the nice mapping capabilities. Uh, we can look at network information to see, okay, uh, has he failed authentication attempt a lot of times and he's fat fingered a password or has a poor signal quality, or maybe he was connected to an AP that was in a location with high utilization and we need to investigate that or add another AP to that area. Notice I'm doing all this in a single interface. I'm not hopping from one tab to another to show this information or hopping from one tool to another. Um, you know, I, I didn't have to search for Larry on my wireless controller. I didn't have to search for him in my switch, one switch at a time. Um, it doesn't matter how we connected to the network. We're providing all this data in a single location. And that what's make, what makes the solution very powerful.